Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Bobby aka Paginator and I'm here today with an Owl Crate unboxing. It hasn't been that long since the last Owl Crate unboxing, I feel like. Time flies when you're having fun. So we've got our box here and we're ready to open. I have cut the tape, but I have not looked inside yet. Come on, box lid. And here we go. This is the July box potions and poisons. We have a girl uh, who looks like she's in some kind of potions studio or some such, putting some things on the shelf. When I opened the last Alcrate box. I didn't realize that that was the June one because it came in July and apparently Alcrate's now a little bit behind schedule too. That's okay. We have to be understanding in these strange times. But here we have the July box. It is August 2nd when I'm opening this. Hopefully it won't be too long before it gets uploaded. Um, and we have a box here that says Alcrate Apothecary Bibliophile Brew. Hmm... On the back, it says, suffering from a bout of reader's block, our TBR jar is just the cure you need. While the titles of the unread books from your to-be-read list, oh, write the titles on the unread books from your to-be-read list on small slips of paper and toss in the jar. Whenever you're unsure about which book to pick off your shelves next, draw a random title to let fate decide your next read. Fun. I wanted a TBR jar because sometimes I play my TBR like different uh, versions of games and this would have been handy when I did this uh, the TBR Avatar. I played like G for the month of August um, just a little while ago and for the cabbage pot she draws out of a jar. Let's take a look at what this jar is like. Oh my goodness. Let Alcrate apothe Apothecary decide your fictional fate. Alcrate Apothecary Cures Reader's Block, Bibliophile Brew. Take one when experiencing literary indecisiveness. <laughs> and there's a nice cork lid. So you could pop this on so that you don't lose any bits of paper. And you can have your TBRs in there. Really fun. And also pretty to just like set on the shelf too. Yay. Let's move the crinklies out of the way. All right, up next we have a gold leather pouch and we have a vial with some wings and a lion's head on it. And there's a bottle for hand sanitizer. There's not any hand sanitizer in it. I have heard that like because of COVID, they're, like companies aren't allowed to actually send hand sanitizer. It doesn't make sense to me, but there you go. So that's very handy. And it's got a clip and a key ring so you could hang it on a bag or something if you wanted to. So the spoiler card tells us that this is inspired by Lucy Pevensey's um, potion bottle in the Narnia Chronicles. And she has a healing cordial. So Blissfully Bookish Co. designed this and you can fill it up with your favorite Hanitizer, as my nephew calls it. Hanitizer. Okay, what's next? Vial of Dreams. High Kith Bubble Elixir. Water Mint and Clementine by Fiction Bath Co. Oh, this is inspired by The Midnight Lie. I was going to hold that book up for you, but I can't reach it from here, and I'm lazy. So, inspired by The Midnight Lie. Vial of Dreams. Bubble Elixir. So, this is a uh, bubble bath, and we shall... Open the plastic and give it a good sniff because why not? We need to know if it smells good. If it if it's not a smell that I particularly enjoy, I have nieces and nephews that love bubble bath, so it will definitely be able to find a home somewhere. All right, plastic is off. Let's sniff it. Ooh, I quite like that. I'm definitely smelling like the clementine water mint I'm not sure what that is but there is a very like clean crisp smell or scent to this so I will definitely be using this 
I don't know when I'm gonna want to take a bubble bath because I have to be in a particular mood for that but it'll be right there ready for when I need it what in the world okay we've got this rubber thing with a lid Popsicle holder. Brew up your own unique popsicle flavors and store them in this handy holder. Simply fill with liquid, liquid, place in your freezer, and enjoy once frozen. Also works great as a portable case for snacks. 100% food safe silicone hand washed only. I've never ever seen a popsicle mold that looks like this. Fenburn's fatal frozen delicacies. Fenburn is three dark crowns series and you definitely don't want to have any delicacies that come from Fenburn because they have poisoners there meaning people who can eat poison and not die like you don't know what's in this plus they have sisters that try to murder each other there definitely don't eat anything that comes from Fenburn all right we've got a pin I just picked it up by the back of the package so I haven't seen it yet we're gonna pull it out of the plastic and look together Ooh, we've got a human heart that looks like it's swimming in blood, perhaps, inside a potion vial. And some keys going through the back. These are usually inspired by the book, so we'll see what that's going to be. I think I actually know what the book is going to be for this box. And if I'm right, it's one that I've already read because I was so excited for it that I bought a copy. Not realizing that it would come in a box. But we'll get to that later. All right, what have we got here? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is an Alice in Wonderland inspired item and it is a bookmark on chain. So you've got the two ends. You've got this little treat that says eat me and this little potion that says drink me. And there's a rose gold chain connecting them so you can use this as a bookmark. And it's an enamel just like their beautiful pins are. That's really pretty. Oh. Is this going to also go in my too pretty to use jar? Earlier I was filming a haul and I got a bookmark from G and it's too pretty so I put it in my jar that I just look at. <laughs> my jar of bookmarks that are too pretty to use. Alright, next up we have a fabric item. This looks like it's going to be a tea towel. Poison Garden Los Lagos we see at the top. And we've got different poisonous plants throughout the tea towel deadly nightshade wisteria wolf spain angel's trumpet castor bean white oleander water hemlock foxglove manzanilla de la muerte white baneberry interesting all right so the spoiler card tells us that this is inspired by labyrinth lost um, which is a book that I read quite a long time ago, if I remember correctly. Um, Amy Mack Illustrations is the artist. And again, we have these beautiful poison plants done in green on this white tea towel. That's really, really nice. Tea towels are always welcome in this house. Okay, so we've reached the book. It is the one that I predicted. And yes, I have already read it, but I don't have the Alcrate edition already, so this is exciting either way. This is such a spooky, like, vibey book. I highly recommend it. This Poison Heart by Kaylin Barron. Look at this. So pretty. And we have... A matching card with a dear reader letter it says dearest reader I am beyond excited to welcome you to the world of this poison heart the story is full of so many of the things I find weird and wonderful it's my ode to the magic that lives inside all of us and how the only way to truly embrace it is to let it take root and bloom Brises, I think you say her name Brises, I'm not sure, was born with a gift she has the ability to bring seeds to bloom in seconds the grass is literally Green, greener on her side of the street she has no idea how this po power came to be but understands fully that it is a part of her she is struggling to keep her power in check and her um, secrecy is causing her to grow apart from her friends when Briseis's recently deceased aunt 
leaves her a sprawling estate. She has to decide if she's ready to leave the relative safety of the city to investigate a property that sits in the middle of 40 heavily wooded acres. It seems like the perfect place for her power to spiral out of control or perhaps be nurtured in a way it never has been before. Bree knows she would go to the ends of the earth for the people she loves, but what if she must go farther than that to a place that only exists in myth and legend? I hope you will come along for the adventure and discover what blooms in the dark. Happy reading, Kaylin Bayred. All right. So having read this, I can tell you, yes, it is about Bree Stace. She was adopted. She has two moms. They live in the city and they run a flower shop. And she, um, sometimes her power goes out of control and she's not sure how to deal with it. So the aunt who leaves her, the property is her birth aunt, like the sister of her birth mom. And she, they, she and her moms kind of pack up and decide we're going to go for the summer and see what this place is like. They've left a friend in charge of the flower shop and the moms are so supportive of Brises, like they're like, if we get there and you don't like it, we'll just turn around and come home. But otherwise, we're going to make this work for the summer. And they're they're fantastic. I loved the moms in this. Um, being new in a small town, she has to make friends. And she's going to find some that are good and some that are not so good. And there is a plot twist in this that might kick you in the pants. So definitely pick this up if you are at all interested. This author, if you're curious, is also the same author as Cinderella is Dead, which is a fantastic Cinderella retelling. Oh, we have a little promotional card. I knew Revolution would find us. And on the back, it's uh, for Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. I am a fan of Bridget Kemmerer. Um, I looked for the third book in the um, her series, A Curse So Dark and Lonely, and then um, there was the blue cover, and then we had the green cover, and so the new one is red. And I looked for that book at Barnes & Noble, but they did not have it in stock. I was kind of bummed. Um, anyway, this is uh, Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. He is trying to hold his kingdom together. She is trying to break it apart. <gasps> Are we going to have a hate to love kind of situation? This book is on sale September 14th, 2021. And BridgetKemmerer.com is the website. I can't get my camera to go close enough to, to make this clear, but... Um, but you can see the author's name here, Bridget Kemmerer. Kemmerer is also the name of a town in Wyoming, not too far from me. Um, so you can go to her website and look up more details or search it up on your favorite book website, like Goodreads, Amazon, what have you. As always, we're going to take a quick look inside the Elkrate newsletter to compare editions. So here is the regular edition and here is the Elkrate exclusive. So we've got blue in the background of the cover there. That is just fun. It's always fun to get an exclusive edition. And then we will take a look at the theme hint card for next month. The theme of the August box is Dark Academia. Yay. Every August box will include a book sleeve with artwork from St. Dree. <gasps> book sleeve? How fun. Well, that box was really fun. I have to say they sent a lot of great items. I love the TBR jar. The popsicle holder is such a unique thing. Like, I guess if I'm craving popsicles, I can freeze something and make one. Um, we had a beautiful bookmark, a great pin, bubble bath. I mean, this was just all around a really nice box. Oh, I couldn't even pick a favorite item because I quite enjoyed this one all together. Fun, fun. Okay. Well, I need to do some editing work and unpack all the crap that I brought home with me from my trip today. So I'm going to get going. I hope you guys have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios. <laughs>